Someone asked me to please make a video about what to feed a baby owl. So in this video I will explain what to feed your baby owl and how to prepare the food. Before we start the actual food preparing, first of all, not all owl species eat the same thing. So I'm going to talk about the owl species that eat one-day-old chicks, rats and mice. A few examples of those species are barn owls, little owls, rufous-legged owls and eagle owls. If you have another owl species in mind of which you want to know what it eats, then please uh, let me know in the comments and I will answer your question. Second of all, the first 21 days of your owl's life, you cannot give it any bones or hair. Because the 21st days of an owl's life it isn't able to make pellets yet. As you guys probably already know, everything that isn't digestible for an owl comes out in the form of a pellet. But the 21st days of an owl's life, it isn't able to make pellets. So you cannot give it any bones and hair because those are things that aren't digestible for your owl. After 21 days, you can slowly start to incorporate more bones and hair into their diet. Third of all, this video is gonna be graphic. If you're a really sensitive person and you can't stand to watch a one-day-old chick being dissected basically, you should probably go watch another YouTube video. Most owls can survive on a plant-based diet. In fact, if you give your owl the wrong food, it will in most cases die a few hours after it has eaten the food because their stomachs just can't handle it. As you guys probably already know, the most important food in Luki's diet are one-day-old chicks. And then in winter time, I give her um, more baby rats, baby mice, adult rats and adult mice. So for adult owls, the rule is that they are gonna eat mostly one-day-old chicks and as an addition to their diet, um, you can give them rats and mice. But for an owlet, this is completely different. The first two to three months of your owl's life, it needs rats, mice, baby rice and baby rats mostly. This is because rats and mice contain way more nutrients and essential vitamins and minerals than one-day-old chicks. And your owl needs those nutrients to build a strong immune system and to build strong bones. People who only feed their owlets one-day-old chicks end up with an owl that has weak bones and gets sick really easily later in life. So the first two to three months you are going to feed your owl with rats and mice mostly and in addition to that, you are going to give it one-day-old chicks as well. But as I've mentioned already, you can't feed your baby owl whole one-day-old chicks, rats and mice, the first two to three months of its life. And that's why I'm going to show you how to prepare your owl's food. I don't really have mice or rats on hand right now, so I'm going to show you how to cut open a one-day-old chick and remove all of the non-digestible stuff. But there isn't any difference between cutting open a one-day-old chick or a rat or a mice. The only thing you need to learn is how to remove the bones and the hair. It's not that difficult, it's really easy, but, but I'm going to show you anyway so that you guys know what your owl's food has to look like. Okay, so here I have a one-day-old chick that is defrosted. I buy them frozen. And it's actually good that I only have one-day-old chicks on hand because one-day-old chicks have a yolk in them and you need to remove the yolk first before you cut them open. Mice and rats don't have a yolk, so you can just cut them open without having to remove a yolk first. So first I'm going to show you how to remove the yolk. This is kind of disgusting, but you are basically going to rip the anus of the chick 
open. We're gonna do that right now, like this. And as you can see, the yolk is already coming out. What you can do then is just pull it out like this. But make sure not to um, pull out the guts. Because these, this is gut and it isn't yolk. Okay. Now we are going to rip or cut the chick open further. I think I'm going to use a scissors for this. I hope you guys can see because this is really inconvenient when you're filming. Okay, as you can see, I've cut it open. And now we are going to take all of the flesh without the hair and bones out of the one day old chicks. And also the vital organs, because they are really nutrient dense. This is really hard to film, you guys. This for example, this for example is a good piece of meat and I can't feel any bones in it so that goes into our little pot. Then here I can feel some bone, it's not really, it's not a really thick bone but any bone should be av uh, avoided. So I'm just going to cut off the part that doesn't have any bone. Oh my god, I feel so clumsy, my god. This is because I'm trying to film... Okay. Now I've ripped another piece of organ out. There are no bones or hair attached to it, so that goes into our pot as well. This is also a nice organ. I'm gonna cut it off. Voila! And then here we have some guts, we can pull that out as well. All of the guts can go right here with the organ in our little pot. As you guys can see, I have stripped the one day old chick of all of its organs. This here is poop, you don't need to give that to your baby owl. Um, now I'm going to rip off the legs and see if I can get some flesh off of the legs. Here is the bone, but then this, ugh, it's so hard to show you guys, this is uh, still, this is 
This is a part where there is hair attached to it, so, I, so I'm going to cut that off. And then I'm just going to cut the flesh off of the leg. There is, oh, there's a little piece of bone here at the end. You probably can't see, but I can feel it. I can feel it. Can you see? Oh God, this is so bad. This, this piece here has a little bone in it, so it doesn't matter how tiny it is, it should be removed. Like that. And here at the end, there's also a little piece of bone. So I'm left with this. Here I can feel a little bone, so I'm gonna, my god, this is hard to do. Ah! My piece of meat fell to the ground, but that doesn't matter because I'm gonna throw this away later anyway. Here I can also feel a bone, so we're gonna cut, cut that off as well. So this little piece of flesh goes in the pot and this I'm throwing away. And basically you're just gonna keep doing that um, until there is no more flesh that you can peel off of the chick. As you can see, I can remove a little bit of hair here from the flesh and that's good news because that means that we can use the flesh to feed our baby owl. This is flesh only. I always check by feeling it. Okay, eh, go in there. Voila! Okay, the leg is stripped of its flesh. Maybe just a little bit more flesh here. Hmm, there's a little bit of hair on it, so I'm not gonna use that. I'm gonna throw it away. And then we have the other leg. Just rip it off. This, for example, is a, oopsie, so this is, this is hair, this is skin with hair, where you can't use that, because it's not digestible. You're going to feel the bone and then you know where to cut off the flesh. Just double check if there's no bone in it. Okay, no bone, throwing it in, throwing it in the pots. So we are left with all of this to feed our baby owl and as you can see it is a really tedious job because one one day old chick doesn't give you that much flesh and you need a lot more to feed your baby owl. Luckily there is way more flesh and organs in rats and mice. This 
organ is a little bit too big to feed a very young owlet so you might want to have to cut this into two or three more pieces. So this is basically what your owl food is going to look like. A bloody mess. No hair, no bones. So as you guys probably noticed, you don't get a lot of flesh and organs out of one one day old chick. So bear in mind that the first two to three months of your owl's life, you're gonna have to purchase way more food than you have to purchase for an adult owl. So you're gonna spend a lot of money because mice and rats are way more expensive than one day old chicks, especially baby mice and baby rats. And the first two to three months of your owl's life, they are going to be the most important part of your owl's diet. So bear in mind that you're gonna spend way more money the first few months of your owl's life than you would spend on an adult owl. Another thing that I should probably mention in this video is that you should never ever put a frozen one day old chick, rat or mouse in the microwave. Because that will kill your owl. They only eat raw meat. So if for example in the evening you suddenly realize that you have forgotten to lay out your frozen one day old chicks, rats and mice then you should go and get them out of the freezer right away and wait until they have defrosted or either put them in a little scale or a plastic bag and lay them in um, hot water. That's another way you can defrost um, one day old chicks, rats and mice easier but never ever put them in the microwave because owls only eat raw meat. If you have forgotten to lay out your owl's food and it's really late at night for example and you want to go to bed, never ever let your owlet skip a meal because the next morning it might be dead. Forgetting important things can happen to everyone but if it happens to you then just be responsible and wait until the food is defrosted. Put it in a plastic bag and lay it in some hot water. Make sure the water can't come in contact with the one day old chick, rat or mouse. And when it's done, feed your owl. Because if you let your owl skip a meal, it's going to be dead in the morning. Yes, owlets are that fragile. So yeah guys, that was it for this video. I hope it wasn't too clumsy because I had a really hard time dissecting the chick while filming. If you guys have any more questions, you can always put them down below in the comments and I will respond. I hope you guys have a nice day. Bye!